All right, what's up guys and welcome to a video I just really wanted to make about Weedles Twin Needle and Michael. Thing is, we've both been friends for 10 years back. When I started Pocket Tube in 2012, he was already pre-established, making those very cool webcam recordings like I was doing. Yeah, that was, that was a great time. And while I, of course, made it big, 2,000 subscribers, Weedle made it way past that. And um, very rightfully so. I've always been bad with pronouns, so if I use the wrong pronouns, I wouldn't enforce that. I don't mean that to be disrespectful, because I come from, well, a country that that is really not as big of a struggle as it is for Michael, I'm sure, uh, what she was going through throughout this. Um, I wouldn't enforce that because. Michael made something extremely important. In Generation 7, not only did Michael branch out as a pocket tuber, but also he made the LGBTQ a part of that very community. I firmly believe without Michael, that would never have happened, at least not in such a natural way. I think LGBTQ is much widely accepted thanks to Weedle. Weedle did so much right and shared a part of, well, himself. Um, that really was it, like, it was such a weird experience for me to see that Weedle was having, well, I was gonna say, a sexuality identity journey as he was successfully becoming one of the bigger pocket tubers. It was not without controversy, of course, and the very reasons that I laughed at Weedle, at the jokes that Weedle was making, might actually have been the very jokes that made him come into trouble at times. Doesn't matter in my book. Um, I think we'd all learn from it and become well greater for it. But for me, Weedle really just brought so much thoughtfulness and well creativity to the Pokemon community. Combine that with Weedle being so open of his own journey, made his pocket tubing journey all the greater for it. I really can't stress this enough. I mean, I could never understand having the journey of, well, sexually identification of what I want, how I want to proceed it, and how I want to live my life with that in mind, knowing the norm. I think because I know the norm that I'm very you know, confident of what I like and what I want to do, <laughs> whatever you call it really, um, but there is such a grander experience with having to do something different and be true to yourself and owning that truth and also deliver that to your viewers. And I think he helped a lot of confused kids thanks to this. I think cherish that, that journey or share that view, journey and also being open-minded about all of it made, like I said, the LBQ community just naturally thrive in Pokemon community. People give the Pokemon community a lot of hate for, oh, how bad it is, so how stupid it is, so it's full of, well, grooming guys and girls, guys, I guess. But they forget about the ones that makes a difference and why they did it. Michael did this journey because he needed to. And I think through his content that shows he does this with a passion, he's a creative player. And he also don't shy away from being, well, Weedle and having that journey. And I want to tackle two controversies that sadly has played him, you're old now, and bringing him to light is only to really deliver what I think and what sadly transpired as it went on. First and foremost was the A-Drive controversy. He used a lot of reaction from those legit reactions from A-Drive and his shiny hunting. Look, I'll be the first one to say that I'm not a big fan of A-Drive and his content, but I also don't watch it, but I happily watched the reaction that Weedles implemented I think it made for a lot of laughs, and um, I think it was a fair use to capitalize on it. It was a, a very transparent use and enhanced its own content. Adrive did not see that way and uh, decided actually to, uh, but we don't know if it's him, but strike his channel with the use of um, <laughs> Adrive reactions. And, um, you know, I don't believe Weedles took that too far. He was, of course, I was gonna say sad, but that's not the right word, but upset that. That was the route was taken, and uh, I think Adrian didn't necessarily speak very highly of him. 
and um, enforce that. I think it was very, how do you say? If you don't know Weedle and wanna try to bully him, it looks, for, for me, it looks really bad. As a bigger pocket tuber, if you aren't happy about somebody else content about you and your reactions, there are better ways of going about it than being very, very, well, let's just say, childish about it. The other reaction, the controversy was with, with Verlissify and more so with, if I remember correctly, um, a fan of both of them that really wasn't as transparent as she was trying to be. She was constantly contacting Weedle and um, you know, wanted Weedle to use certain sets and once Weedle used these sets, um, she would go into Verlissify's channel and say that she, Weedle stole the sets and talk shit about him and eventually Weedle find out and while Weedle was young I want to enforce that like we all like me in my 20s not the best person when it comes to making decision and Weedle wanted to take this joke a bit too far and was acting like a Verlissify fan to get an intel on what this person was saying and um, eventually um, also contacted this fan um, and the fan reacted very much like um, a victim and thought that uh, Weedle was trying to groom the person, trying to rape that very person, which made Relicify call um, Weedle a pedophile, which is, if you know Weedle, quite a reach and a very bad one at that. And the thing is, Relicify is not famous for his accurate when it comes to um, bashing on people. He, he doesn't necessarily need a lot of evidence and he can definitely shift the truth a little bit to make it follow his agenda. Uh, Antonio tend to do so, if you didn't know the name, and there it is. And I myself fall into that very same trap and um, thought I was gonna convince him to not be bad. It seems that comes to him naturally. How about that? Uh, but Weedle, of course, took the joke, like I said, too far. Weedle has a dark sense of humor and the thing is, if you just use his messages as a whole and don't know if he's joking, yeah, it looks bad. It looks really bad. But Weedle really just wanted, or Michael wanted, really just kind of scare away the person by writing stuff that mm, is very shaky at best. But um, that was not what happened, and he was being called a pedophile for it. Which, look, you can be a pedophile and don't act upon it, you'll still be called a pedophile, but I think acting as a pedophile is where, where the, the acting becomes really bad. But Michael is nothing of it, and it bothers me that the amount of truth needed to bash on Weedle was so low. This was a time where Weedle was over like 1,000 or 10,000 subscribers at best. So the reach out from his side was rather low. Unfortunately, or fortunately I mean, Weedle came out better for it and did reconsider how he acted among his fans. And remember, he was a growing channel at the moment, then he realized that if he makes weird stuff and say dumb things, he can be called out upon it. And he fully accepted that and definitely grew for it. And that's where I wanted to point this further. He owned up to himself to keep going what he does and he didn't fall in drama. And I think Weedle's progress as a pocket zuber and as a person is a very, very exciting one at that. And considering how young he was when he started off, yeah, I believe the whole journey is legitimate and he's grown up. And I really miss, considering that, like I said, I'm not a VGC player myself and watching his content, I really miss not, no longer hearing his voice and he's just working on the editing and um, making jokes with that in mind. But Michael, we need you back. You're making definitely one of the best content there is and I've been watching you for over 10 years and I still enjoy it as much as the day I started watching you because you're so creative and you're so open-minded. I really wish more will like you. So with that said, thank you for being you. Can't wait to see another video from you. And for that said guys, as always, thank you for watching and take the time to say what you like about Weedle's Needle. I think he needs it too. Take care guys.